Three nations, one groundbreaking project, France, Germany, and Spain have combined their strengths to bring the Future Combat Air System, or FCAS, to life, an ambitious European defense project aimed at developing a next-generation air combat system. And yes, you heard that right, we said system. That's because FCAS is much more than just a single fighter jet. It's an integrated network that includes a sixth-generation fighter, a fleet of advanced drones that operate alongside it, and a sophisticated digital network that connects everything. This isn't just about building a better plane. It's about creating an entirely new way of thinking about air combat, where every element works together seamlessly to dominate the skies. The program was conceived out of the necessity to modernize Europe's air defense capabilities. The fighter jets currently in service, such as the Eurofighter Typhoon in Germany, the Dassault Rafale in France, and the F-A-18 Hornet in Spain. These aircraft are still highly capable, but they are beginning to show their age. They were designed in the late 20th century, and although they have been upgraded over the years, they no longer fully meet the demands of modern air warfare. In response to these needs, France, Germany, and Spain decided to pool their resources and expertise to develop a new system that would not only replace these aging fleets, but also push the boundaries of what is possible in air combat. Each of these countries contributes its unique expertise and resources to the project. The leading companies involved are Dassault Aviation from France, Airbus from Germany, and Indra from Spain. Dassault is renowned for its experience in building advanced fighter jets. Airbus brings its extensive knowledge in aerospace technology, and Indra is known for its cutting-edge electronics and defense systems. As mentioned earlier, the project is built around several key components that together form an advanced and interconnected air combat system. These components include the next-generation fighter, remote carriers, and the combat cloud. Let's take a closer look at each of them. The centerpiece of FQAS is the Next Generation Fighter, or NGF. This new aircraft is being developed with cutting-edge technology to ensure it remains dominant in the air for decades. One of its most crucial features is stealth capability. The fighter jet will use advanced materials and design techniques to reduce its radar signature, making it harder for enemy radar systems to detect and track. Beyond stealth, the platform will be equipped with advanced avionics and state-of-the-art sensors. These sensors will provide the pilot with comprehensive situational awareness, detecting and tracking enemy aircraft, ground targets, and other potential threats. Another key aspect of the NGF is the integration of artificial intelligence. AI will assist the pilot by analyzing data in real time, identifying threats, suggesting tactical options, and even automating some of the aircraft's functions. This allows the pilot to focus on critical decisions, while the AI handles routine tasks and data processing. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. In addition to the fighter jet, FCAS includes remote carriers, or RCs. These are unmanned aerial vehicles designed to operate alongside the NGF. Depending on the mission's needs, RCs can perform a variety of roles, including surveillance, electronic warfare, and acting as additional weapons platforms. A central concept within FCAS is manned-unmanned teaming, or MUM-T. This approach allows the NGF and RCs to work together as a coordinated unit. The pilot of the NGF can control multiple RCs, directing them to carry out specific tasks while remaining safely out of harm's way. For example, the RCs could be deployed to engage enemy defenses or gather intelligence allowing the fighter jet to maintain a strategic position. Finally, there's the Combat Cloud, a digital network that connects all elements of FCAS, including the NGF, RCs, and other assets like satellites and ground forces. This network is designed to enhance situational awareness by enabling all parts of the system to share information in real time. For instance, data collected by an RC can be instantly transmitted to the NGF, giving the pilot a complete view of the battlefield. The combat cloud also allows for unprecedented operational coordination. By linking various platforms and units, it ensures that all the elements work together seamlessly, enhancing the overall effectiveness of the system in complex combat scenarios. The Future Combat Air System project began in 2017 with the launch of the Joint Concept Studies. This initial phase was led by France and Germany, and aimed to set the foundation for what would become one of Europe's most significant defense initiatives. During this time, the main goal was to define the essential components of the EFCAs. These studies helped to create a clear vision of the project 
and identify the necessary technologies to achieve it. Soon after, Spain joined the project, strengthening the collaboration and adding more resources. From 2020 to 2022, the project moved into Phase 1A, where more detailed design and development work began. During this phase, the contractors were tasked with creating the first demonstrators for the three main components. This phase was important because it marked the transition from planning to actual development. Currently, the EFCAS is in Phase 1B, which started in December 2022. This phase is a crucial step forward, focusing on building more advanced prototypes of the fighter jet and drones, as well as further developing the combat cloud. The budget for this phase is around 3.2 billion euros. The main aim of this phase is to make sure these technologies are ready for full-scale testing. The first test flight of the new fighter jet prototype is expected to take place around 2029. Although this is later than originally planned, it is still an important milestone on the path to making the entire EFCAS system fully operational by the early 2040s. But, as you might expect, the path to achieving the ambitious goals of the program has not been without obstacles. The project has encountered several significant challenges, leading to delays in its development timeline. One of the primary challenges has been technical in nature. Integrating different advanced technologies into a single, unified system is a highly complex task. Each of these technologies is cutting edge on its own, but ensuring that they work together seamlessly has proven to be more difficult than initially anticipated. Another significant challenge has been internal disagreements between the main industrial partners, Dassault Aviation and Airbus. These disputes have often revolved around who controls different aspects of the project and how various technologies should be integrated. These disagreements have sometimes led to delays in finalizing contracts and moving forward with development. In addition to technical and managerial challenges, the EFCAS project has also faced issues related to budget and politics. Despite the significant financial commitments made by France, Germany, and Spain, aligning the strategic and financial interests of all three countries has required ongoing negotiations. These discussions have sometimes slowed progress. This program is one of the most expensive defense projects currently underway in Europe. The overall cost of developing and bringing it to operational status is estimated to be between 50 billion euros and 100 billion euros with some estimates suggesting that the total costs could be even higher. Funding for the project is shared among the three primary partner nations. This shared funding model is essential for the project's success, but it also requires careful coordination and compromise among the partners. Additionally, the EFCAS project is being developed in a highly competitive global environment. Other countries are also working on their own next-generation fighter programs, such as the UK-Japan-Italy collaboration on the Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP, and the United States' Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD. This global competition has put extra pressure on the EFCA's partners to accelerate development in order to avoid falling behind their international counterparts. And the competition between these programs is not just about technology, it also involves geopolitical influence. The country or coalition that develops the most advanced and reliable air combat system is likely to dominate the global defense market shaping the military capabilities of allied nations and potentially setting new standards for future combat. But despite the challenges, the project remains a top priority for the participating nations. Successfully overcoming the technical, managerial, and financial hurdles of the EFCAS project is essential not just for the project's success, but for ensuring that Europe can defend itself independently and remain a leader in military technology. Indeed, one of the key motivations behind the EFCAS is the desire to strengthen Europe's strategic independence from the United States and other non-European defense providers. For many years, European nations have relied heavily on American technology and military support, especially through NATO. While this partnership has been beneficial, it has also underscored Europe's dependence on external powers for its security. This project aims to reduce this reliance by developing a cutting-edge air combat system within Europe that can meet the continent's defense needs on its own. By advancing the EFCAS, Europe seeks to ensure that it maintains control over its defense technologies and can make strategic decisions independently without relying on external influences. This autonomy is seen as essential for safeguarding Europe's long-term security and for preserving its ability to act in its own interests on the global stage.